This problem on the Gauteng license plate system comes from the Mind Action Grade 12 Mathematics textbook. This is a very real life question and very exciting to see how we use the counting principle. Let's read this question. The Gauteng government introduced a new license plate system in December 2011. The, mo the month it expected to run out of numbers to allocate allocated under the old system. The number plates for motor vehicles in Gauteng used to be created as follows. Three letters excluding the vowels A, E, I, O, U, as well as Q. Please remember, because it's letters, we need to know. And in this particular case, repetition is allowed. So that means that these letters may be used any number of times. And then there are three digits. So as you can see with this little drawing, there are three letters. There are three digits. And the three digits are from the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. And they may also repeat. So the first question now on this old system, and we're going to discuss the new system after this, how many number plates, and that is the first part of the question, how many possible number plates were there with the old system? So let's do the first part of the question where we discuss now three letters, three numbers, how many possible number plates are there? So let's do this question first. All right, as you will now remember from this question, we are looking at the previous system of the Gauteng number plates. And we're going to make a drawing of it, like in the example. And we have three letters, three numbers, and then the GP that is part of all the Gauteng number plates. Now, three letters, three numbers or digits, how many possible numbers? First of all, the restrictions are, from the 26 possible letters, we exclude the vowels, that's five of them, as well as Q. So that means there are 20 left. Now, if I say 20 possible letters, how many possibilities are there for position number one? Remember these three? It's like groups like we've done before. These three were our possible letters, and there's only 20. So that will be 20. So we're not using all 26. So only 20 letters may be in the first position. The question said clearly, and as you also will notice on when you look at number plates, these letters may repeat. So you may get a number plate with a B and a B, or a G and a G. Now, the second position, therefore, will also be 20. And so will the third position. Because it's not like people that we, are seat, uh, that we seat. It's not like the clothes problem that can't repeat. It's not like books that can't repeat. Letters may repeat or may not repeat. In the license plate system, the letters may repeat. Now we go to the next group. And that this is now where we use the digits or the numbers. 0 to 9, there's 10 of them. So how many ways the first one? 10 possible numbers, 10 possible numbers, 10 possible numbers. So as you can see, this is not a problem like we get, will get factorial. When they can repeat, we always get exponents. So when you look at this, this will give you 20 to the exponent of 3. 10 to the exponent of 3, but in this particular case, it's easier to multiply them without the exponents. So according to our counting principle, we're now going to multiply these to find the total num number of number plates in the old system. Just take note, even there are two groups, we can't change the order of the two groups. Not like with the boys and the girls or the shirts and the trousers. Because this is a number plate system. And this is how they are structured. So we have the group with letters, the group with numbers, but they can't change around. So we will multiply all of them. 
Now, the easy way to multiply is to multiply 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. So that means there are a possible of 8 million number plates. And like the question indicated to you, that in December of 2011, Gauteng sort of almost ran out of numbers because they moved into the Z with the number plate system. And they changed the system to a new system. And that is now the second part of the question. So let's read this part of the question. 